Here's an interesting one. I'll, we'll go to this one. We stand firm, calling to Allah all the time. We let him know, bang, this is bang, because so it's our time. Uh, I have heard of this guy before. Oh, uh, man. Allah. 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 Allah, 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 Allah. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I think he's... He's looking for a snack. Yeah. And I think it's going to be sperm. How about some pork? I think it's... Bacon. No, actually, it's I think... some bacon. Dad it's sperm. sperm. Yeah. <laughs> he can't... Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> this video is already really fucking weird. Are are is he secretly a robot? Yeah. I don't fucking know what's going on here. He's a robot, but he has a dad who has sperm. That's like in the Terminator movies when you're like looking through the Terminator's eyes. It's yeah. kind of the shit that he would see. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> dad sperm. Um Okay. I like how there's like nutritional <laughs> values. Allah! Uh, uh, uh. Allah? Allah? Allah to Allah? The music <laughs> is very ominous. It's very slow, too. Ugh. Why would he be doing this? Is what I'm wondering. I guess he's gonna drink sperm. I don't know. He just likes to. Muslims do that, Scotty. Did he? Did he water it down? <laughs> you need to learn more about their culture. His dad just fucking comes really thin, dude. <laughs> and in and large in bottles quantities. And labels it and draws smiley faces. You're like yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Healthy and tasty. Okay. This is some serious view whoring. Is this bu is this building up to some kind of point or? Is I it... think it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. Why on earth do you look so grossed out for? On atheism, there's nothing wrong with drinking your dad's sperm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. That makes oh. sense. In atheism, there's nothing wrong with drinking your dad's sperm. Don't you, don't you know? Him? So let's break it down. There is no consequences, morally speaking, according to you guys, because not harming anyone and there's no risk. And secondly speaking, sperm's got nutritional value. So right. go drink it, that sperm, man. What are you okay. waiting for? Let me just stop him right here and explain why this doesn't make sense. I guess that really it's not immoral to drink your dad's sperm. It's just disgusting and fucking practically no one would want to do it. There's tons of shit that has nutritional value that we choose not to eat and drink anyway. So Yeah, like I don't know. There's plenty of things there's about. plenty of things that are not moral or immoral that you could do that people just don't even, fucking do. Even piss has some nutritional value. Right, like there's you know, nothing wrong with drinking your piss if that's what you really want to do, but most people don't fucking want to do it you know what's funny is that it like before like modern dentistry people used to actually use like they, they would gargle their own piss to, like cleanse their mouths yeah like they like their teeth and kill the bacteria when i lived in albuquerque well it was good the first time i drank it when i lived in albuquerque there was a public access channel there and basically anybody could get a fucking show and there was this guy that wore a loincloth and, and drank his own piss that had a show it was pretty interesting sounds like a good show <laughs> Seems like it'd be kind of hard to fill 30 minutes with that, though. Well, he, he, didn't, he didn't actually drink it on the air, but he talked about how he drank it and how it was therapeutic. Oh, that's bullshit. He needs to drink... If he's gonna... He needs to drink that shit on the air. Actually, I think there's a YouTube video out there. If, if, if you search for Don Schrader Piss Hippie, you can find a video of him. Don Man, Schrader the Piss Hippie. They got some strange cats out there, dog. But you're not going to, are you? No. But why? Well, I can understand why you're quite confused thing. right now because your worldview should make you feel comfortable with drinking sperm. But no, it shouldn't. Feel like, how oh, would it make you feel comfortable? Just because something has no consequences morally 
and, you know, there's some fucking argument to be made for it on some level doesn't mean that everyone's just going to do it. I mean, you could say, like, you know, it, you know, rub your shit on your own fucking body after you take a dump. It actually it, it cools the skin or something. <laughs> Why, so why aren't you doing it then, if you're an atheist, huh? You know? Gross, I don't want to drink my dad's sperm. Then, could there be something wrong with your worldview? No. Let's discuss that. There's something wrong with your fucking wa retarded wa ass brain. Ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ba'ad. Okay, so I we have I don't speak that Muslim shit. We Talk have good, English. we have bad. We have what we ought to do, we have what we ought not to do. Okay. Where did our morals come from? They didn't come from nothing, did they? Because look, we're smart now. We're not going to behave stupid anymore. We're going to appreciate that things don't come from nothing. But we're not going to turn a blind eye to them because they exist. They're in our faces. We use them each and every single day. Okay, good. So at least we're on the same wavelength. No, okay. no, we're not. What are the explanations that atheists used to give for where our morals came from? Number one, evolution. But then we came to realize just by using our brains a teeny tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny bit that evolution doesn't care about moral value. It cares about survival value. For example, the white nurse shark, when it wants to procreate... <laughs> I just... He doesn't even understand what the fuck people are saying when they posit an evolutionary explanation for morality. No, but he's it, got awesome graphics. It's man. not. That's not saying that evolution is trying to create moral values. It is just one of the byproducts of evolution. And of course, human beings have taken those instinctive values of like empathy, which helps us to mimic the behaviors of our fucking fellow human beings because it's how we learn things. And also, it's how if, if it makes more sense for your family to care about you because then you're protecting your own genetic lineage. And if, you're ha if you have a tribe and you have some instinct to fucking care about their well-being and protect them, then you have a better chance of survival because you have more fucking people and stuff like that. And, and that's where morality, the, the basis of morality comes from. But then, of course, human beings also use you know, uh, reason and other, uh, their emotions, culture, and other fucking things, other systems of thought to build upon that to create, you know, the moral codes that we have today. And there is, you know, I, I'm, I personally don't believe there is, like, an objective mo morality, but I still think that morality has value. But, I mean, this, the, this guy doesn't even understand what the fuck he's like. Evolution doesn't create moral values. It just creates survival value. It's like, don't you see that in some instances the development of, like, proto-morality was um, necessary for our survival because we're a social animal that we, we thrive better when we actually have this concern for each other to some extent? Does it go and smoothly just walk over to the female white nest shark and just chirps it a little bit like, what's going on, baby? You want to hit the pad and basically get jiggy? No! It forcefully copulates. In other words, it rapes. If our morals come from the exact same sociological, biological process that facilitates those morals for that white nest shark, then what makes us so special that when we rape, it's wrong? No! If that's what we our still come rape, from, though. Rape, murder, theft, all these things. All those things still happen. It's not like every human being has this deeply intrinsic sense of right and wrong. There's plenty of, there's people that'll do any goddamn thing in this world. The Based, most he's acting like, oh, no, no. <laughs> we just, we, where do you think we have this great inherent sense of right and wrong? It's like we don't. I mean, we have, some people have a biological basis for it, but then other people just don't. They are socially unconventional. The same way it is socially unconventional for a woman to wear Ronald McDonald lipstick when she goes to the club, or for a man to sit at a dinner table and fart, or for a guy to go play a game of football with his tuxedo on. You can't say these things are evil, they're wrong, he ought not to do this, or she ought not to do that. The most you can say is, ah, I wouldn't, but if you really want to do that, then go for it. I'm not going to murder him, but if you want to murder him, that's up to you. To each their own. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. But we realize that that doesn't work, and evolution basically leaves us with that. So evolution flies out the window. The second no, it doesn't. That's, that was a terrible oh, argument. Man. Evolution flies out the window. 
Uh, just, it's it's so clear he has no idea what evolution the process like just, of evolution is. He's just he's, it he's flies like, out the window. It don't have nothing to do with this. So what's the atheist next explanation? Explanation that we have is wait for it. Social pressure. But social pressure basically means that we believe things are good and bad, morally speaking, on the basis of what society tells us. But if that's the case, then that means you have to accept that when Hitler and his Nazis were doing what they were doing to the Jews, in other words, putting them in concentration camps, gas chambers with Zyklon B, when they were doing that at the time, because social pressure made them feel that it was the norm, morally speaking, it was the thing that they ought to do, that means you have to admit that that at the time there was nothing wrong with what Hitler was doing. Okay. But I mean like let's say that we live in an alternate history where Hitler had won World War II and they dominated the world and they controlled how history was written. Of course, we'd all be sitting here right now like, yeah, Hitler what Hitler was a great guy and he fucking did what he needed to do. I mean, of course it's based on social pressure to an extent. People totally look to each other for their morality. You can point. You can just point out all the instances where that fails, but that doesn't mean it's not the case. Oh yeah, I mean, like, why do we have all these things? Like, please, thank you, okay. And like, if you go to in public, you, I mean, you can have you know the most Christian guy and TJ in a room, but more than likely they'll just be like, okay, you know, let's just try to like be in this room and get along, just because, you know, we kind of feel the social pressure to do so. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course, they sh there can be a breakdown in communication. You guys start fighting or whatever. Or kill each other, but that's not likely to happen. Like you said, I mean, society does make us conform to a lot of things, whether we, we you know, agree to that or not, or like I think it makes sense or not. Like if you have a million people that say, okay, do you think you know all the shit we do in our day-to-day -day lives makes a lot of sense? People will be like, probably not, and it's not genuine, but people still do it. I mean, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking yeah. about. You know, like, you know, you go to the store and someone cuts in front of you. You're probably just going to be like, you know, whatever. I'm not going to have to start a fight over it. You know, even though they've kind of violated a social standard, you're still just going to be like, well, I don't really want to get involved in this bullshit. I'll just, you know, play this game. And we but all do it. nobody's going to do that because it was wrong then and it was wrong now. So what happens to social pressure? We kick it to the curb. So what's the that explanation no that people like Sam Harris put forth today? consequentialism what is consequentialism a very crude understanding is that basically we look at the consequences of our actions and if the consequences bring about good then that's something that's morally good and if they bring about something bad then that's morally bad mm. so that's basically how we do it well in light of that there's nothing wrong with drinking your dad's sperm because the consequences are but there better. but there is nothing wrong with it morally it's just gross there's a difference between something being gross and something being immoral. This entire argument is predicated upon something so fucking stupid that, like, you literally can, I can, ex you can just explain this to him with one fucking sentence. Just because something is gross or nasty doesn't mean that it's automatically immoral. I think he really just wanted to drink his dad's sperm. I think that, yeah, he, I, I, he I think just, a repressed desire is like, I want to drink my daddy's sperm. Is he like, is he making a correlation between going into your fridge and drinking a bottle of sperm to like sucking your dad's cock and drinking his sperm? Is that what he's, is he trying I to I don't say? know. Like, because I can see how the second one people would feel is immoral, like morally wrong. Sure. You know, like incest and that kind of shit. But, uh, you know, if, if for some reason your dad kept a bottle of sperm in your fucking fridge you know, you, and you happen to drink yeah. it, there's nothing morally wrong with that. But, uh, you know, it's just it's just nasty. Yeah. You, you know, we hear all these lame arguments about how, like, you know, atheists have no morality. But it's like we've seen time and time again, atheists are not the ones going and blowing up buildings. Atheists are not the ones, for the most part, walking to schools and other places blowing people away. It's usually people who have like a fundamentalist religious background. Um, but yet we're told we're the immoral ones. Like, are, are, are we excited? We have no morality and nothing matters. It's like, uh, I really don't see many atheists going in. Or if, if we do have buildings. morality, it, it obviously, we just are in denial of where it comes from, which is, of course, oh, God. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It comes <laughs> that's, from that's, God. That's the other line you'll hear. Always. It comes from God. He's about to go into that. I'm sure he's about to say, Allah! Beneficial. There's nutritional value, and there's no... Did God put the nutritional value in the sperm? He must have. 
risk. No one's going to get harmed. Your dad's basically going to have a good bash, he's going to enjoy a nice orgasm, and you're going to enjoy some nice nutritional value. So the benefits outweigh the losses. So go and drink your dad's sperm. Don't be such Thank a hypocrite. Go and basically have intimate relationships with your mum and your sister. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. That's why people like Lawrence Krauss said, rationally speaking, I don't see something wrong with incest. Why is incest wrong? It's, uh, it's not clear to me that it's wrong. Go and basically engage in pedophilic acts. That's why Richard Dawkins kind of like Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see there to be a problem with things like mild pedophilia. Of course, there's a problem. Let me give you a very vivid, crude example. Forgive me for painting this so wait, picture. Wait, I mean, like, literally, like, his prophet fucked a nine year old girl, so. What's, yeah. what's the problem here? And he had a harem of, of other, uh, what we would consider to be underage. Right, so where, what, what is the Muslim basis of a problem with pedophilia? I, I have no yeah, Because, I mean, eight years old, that's definitely too soon before she's even old enough to bear children, so there's no she real ain't, like, she ain't even practical, got, there's no practicality no, even for the ancient world. All, yeah, yeah I point. mean, it's just like, let's stick our dick in a child, basically. Of course, you know, and then so what is I mean, if if Allah, I mean, uh, Muhammad was obviously a very moral person. So if 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 he did that, then that must be moral. So yeah. what is his objection? <laughs> like, what well, seriously, what's the basis of his, his objection? If he, he's about to say that all morality comes from Allah, I'm sure. But sometimes you need to really drive the point home by taking outside the box. Here's the example on consequentialism. According to Sam Harris's morality, according to Professor Krauss, Richard Dawkins, the leading atheist of the world, according to their morality, there's nothing wrong with you basically lying a one-year-old baby in front of you and basically masturbating over it. Because the baby is not going to remember the traumatic experience because he's only one or she's only one years old. And you are going to enjoy basically a nice session, very creepy, disgusting, should be put in jail, locked away, slapped in the face. But on your morality as an atheist who rejects God, there's nothing wrong with that. I wasn't aware but that that was my morality. Were you guys? <laughs> Jerking off on babies? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I didn't, I, I never really thought about that before. But I'm, I'm I glad, that, I'm he glad he's it. thinking about yeah. it, you know. He just let me know that according to my morality, I can do that. And that's fucking, yeah. Let's get some babies in here, guys. I mean, we're atheists. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's Let's get going. Yeah, there is no secular morality. It's like, you know, I've never met an atheist that said, you know what, I think that's acceptable. If you have a baby, you can just, you know, rape it or masturbate let's on do, or whatever. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. just do a poll of atheists. Like, or rob a bank or kill people or whatever you want to do because it doesn't matter. There's no consequences. There's no God. That's it. It's like um, there will be consequences from society, which will be you will go to prison well, no, but he's not doing that. But he was saying that... It, it, well, he's saying that thing. There's he's he's using examples that have no negative consequences, right? Because for and that's why he said masturbate on the baby rather than that would be a crime. Yeah, well, sure. He used masturbation rather than actually having sex with it no, because just, that would cause physical harm. He's yeah, basically that, saying that would still be considered a crime. It the, is, yeah, no, sure. It is. Oh yeah, it's a crime. <laughs> so how is how, how is that how is that? No, there's no consequences to that. Then that's true. You're right. Never mind. And who the, I mean, like, who knows? If the baby wouldn't have some sort of residual memory of it, how how the fuck does he know? I, we, I think we know how he knows. Oh. <laughs> now here's the thing. I know you are decent human beings, right? And that's right. Human beings. And I know you find a problem with all the examples that I've given, because you're not weird. We have the same blood running through our veins, the same head, the same brain inside of it, the same consciousness. Don't no, we don't. We don't. Same... We don't. What are you talking same... about? We do not have the same we brain or consciousness. We have the same brain. My consciousness is distinctly different than yours in many ways. Yeah, that, that does not make any sense. Okay. Morality. So I'm not having a go at you. I'm just trying to make you understand how crude this understanding of the world is from an it's atheistic perspective. No, so then what is our explanation and understanding of where Allah! the world came from? 
My dear beloved friends, brothers and sisters, the only explanation Hello! for where our morals came from is that they are grounded and anchored and based and founded upon a higher moral agent that instilled them to us. Oh. Because society doesn't dictate them, evolution sure as hell doesn't, and consequences of our actions, rational thought process like that sure as hell doesn't. The only option we left is that Allah instilled these Hello! morals inside of us from when we were born. So the I only we option we're left with is Allah. Okay. You, why couldn't it be any other higher power? You know, he said all these things, but he really hasn't proven anything he said. He's just made wild conjecture. That's, That's all I can do. I Accept know. Allah as your one creator, I master know. of the heavens and the earth. Or at least come to appreciate that there is a divine there. That's half the job okay, done already. But hasn't. if you continue to reject that. So half the job is believing that in any god, and then, you know, and the it, other half and is... And of course, he, he's saying... The other half is accepting that it's Allah. Atheists Allah. reject God. No, you don't understand what an atheist is. <laughs> it's just, it's just this guy has everything wrong. I I I I just, I mean, I don't know. I'm, He's I'm, too I'm smart for you, Scotty. I'm trying Give to give a dad a bottle and tell him to have a bash, and you enjoy a nice drink. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. You enjoy Share a nice this drink. Video. Yeah. Okay. Share and like this video only if you're retarded.